Psychology Concepts Observational Learning What is the best way to learn something? Is it by trial and error? Now, where did the textbook say the gallbladder is? Watch a demonstration by someone else? Ask your mom? Sure, I can teach you to knit. First, take the yarn in your left hand. Observational learning is learning by watching and imitating other people. Observational learning is an effective way to learn a skill, such as cooking, knitting, carpentry, and even surgery. The concept of observational learning comes from Albert Bandura, a Canadian-American psychologist who studied children imitating the behavior of adults. According to Bandura, observational learning involves four processes. Attention, retention, motor reproduction, and reinforcement. Learning starts with paying attention. For example, if you wanted to learn to knit, you would first have to pay attention to the motions of an experienced knitter. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to knit. The second process, retention, involves remembering what you saw so that you can duplicate the behavior. Motor reproduction, the third component of observational learning, is the imitation of the behavior observed, paid attention to, and retained in memory. You need to be physically able to duplicate the actions of your model. Reinforcement, the last component of observational learning, is an important motivator. Positive reinforcement, in the form of praise or recognition, will encourage you to continue doing what you've learned. If a stranger compliments your knitting, it reinforces your efforts and motivates you to keep knitting. Recap. Observational learning. Observational learning is learning by watching and imitating other people. Bandura outlined four components of observational learning. Attention to the behavior of another person. Retention, or remembering what we observe the other person doing motor reproduction, or imitating the model's behavior. Reinforcement is the reward received by the model or the learner for observed behavior.